Welcome to this video. This video is basically about the Windows update called KB4038788. Okay, there are quite a few complaints online about one, it being very hard to install. Okay, so basically, your updater basically keeps almost downloading, downloading, or just pauses. Okay. So that's one issue we've heard. We've heard about Microsoft Edge, okay, the Windows Edge browser crashing. We've also heard about issues with games and boot loops and a lot, lot more. Okay, the first thing to remember is if you're having problems with it, we can uninstall it. Now, let's just have a quick look at our update history. Okay, we've played around with this update quite a few times. Okay, so we've got a good feeling of what it's doing and how it's working. The first thing is we've actually paused updates. Okay, this is the very first thing we need to do by clicking on advanced options and pausing it. Once that is paused, it stops the update process, shall we say, using the internet network to install new updates. So now we're, we can kind of like operate in manual mode. We're gonna uninstall it. So the first thing is go to PowerShell, type in PowerShell, and then right click, and then run as administrator. We've already done that. I'm just gonna minimize this. Okay, and you want to run basically this command. Um, this command should be there in the description, so you just copy and paste it in there, okay? But it's basically WUSA space forward slash uninstall forward slash KB colon 4038788, which is the KB, the KB. So we'll just bring ourselves back in here and we'll just press enter. What this will do, it'll run the Windows Update standalone installer which also is used for uninstalling. Do you want to uninstall? Yes we do. And this will uninstall. Just whilst it's uninstalling and getting on with the task, we'll just have a quick little talk about why it may not uninstall. In our update history, the latest update was the one we're trying to uninstall. Sometimes well, quite frequently in Windows 10, newer updates either replace this, supersede it, or change the, shall we say, the history log of the updates, and then it becomes next to impossible to remove unless you really, really, really want to do the manual way. Okay, after it is finished that process, it says restart now. Okay, you can close down all windows, etc. first if you want to. And then click restart now. This should restart, basically get everything ready, and come back with that KB uninstalled. Okay, so now we've restarted. Okay, and let's assume you want to block a certain update, for example, the one that was causing us problem. We do have a video that the link should be in the description, but we'll also just show you quickly what you need to do. Okay, basically open up a browser of your choice, and you need to basically download this, how to temporary, temporarily prevent a driver update from reinstalling in Windows 10. Okay, so, that's the URL. That should also be in the description. You then download this, okay? Run it. It'll scan your system and then it'll show you a list of updates that can be installed on the computer and then you just click block on them. The okay. next thing we want to show you is basically how to manually install this update, okay? Because in case you weren't able to install it using the normal techniques of automatic updates, here we go. 
basically we need to go to the Microsoft website and it's www.catalog.update.microsoft.com and then within there you can type in the KB that you're looking for. In our instance we want the 64-bit one the full version okay which is the bigger one and that is over there okay so 64-bit and it's 934 click download a pop-up will come and now depending on your browser you might need to right click on it and then say save link as or in case of edge what happens is it just says click save we're gonna cancel this because we've already downloaded it and normally where it goes it goes to your downloads folder over there we just took it from there and brought it to our desktop once we do have that file the technique should be quite simple all you really need to do is just double click on it and then click OK or yes to install it sometimes you will find a corruption and this might be one of the reasons why you're actually having issues with this update so we're gonna go open up our file explorer go to windows scroll down to software distribution and download what sometimes happens is there might be a previous half download of an update and that causes problems so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select all and delete it'll ask you to give admin permissions you're lucky everything went through sometimes you'll find certain files or folders don't like to be deleted no matter how many times you say yes I accept it doesn't the solution for that is very simple properties security advanced in this case we've already changed the owner to us Windows Ninja but it came out as system as the original one so if you wanted to change it you would type in your username for example in our case it's Windows Ninja and then check names and then click OK you would also want to shall we say disable inheritance that does help remove all inherited and we're left with that and then just to make sure it's full control you click edit and make sure you're given it full control okay you also would want to add administrator back in okay give that full control as well and okay yes now we should be able to delete it and there it goes if it did come up with needs admin permissions you just click yes it would delete it okay so that's done. Let's now install it. We've downloaded it. We've copied it from our downloads folder to our desktop, or it doesn't really matter. It could be run from anywhere. I'll just show you. There we go. And just double click on it. Providing you get this screen and it all goes through, it should be good. And after a good few minutes, it comes up saying installation complete, restart now. So now we'll just click restart and everything should be working. Okay, and after the restart, we just open up settings, which is over here. And then just to restore everything back to normal, let's unpause our update scenario so we'll just unpause that so re resuming everything so now hopefully your system is back to normal it'll find any other updates missing and then fill in any gaps and 
if there have been new updates that have replaced the one that we've just installed, it should all do that. So hopefully this helped. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe.